Club Express, customizing the look and feel of your website, mobile website setup. Your website is one of the ways that members and non-members view and interact with your organization's content and people. So, what you display on your site and how you present the content is important. You want it to reflect your organization's priorities and style. Club Express gives you many tools to create content and also configure the look and feel of your site. There's a video that's an overview of the tools available on the Control Panel's website tab, and there are separate videos that go into detail about each module. This video looks at how the Mobile Website Setup module allows you to display special content when your website is viewed in a browser on a mobile phone or tablet. Note that the Mobile Website Setup function is completely optional, and it was originally designed for older websites before Club Express implemented responsive design in its tools. With responsive design, there is generally no need to define specialized header or homepage content to display well on mobile devices. Before we look at mobile-specific content, let's look at the home page for one of our demo clubs on a desktop browser. This club is not using any mobile-specific content. Near the middle of the page are boxes for community outreach, news and updates, and upcoming events. When viewed on a computer, these normally display in one row. This page was designed in the Advanced Content Editor and uses a page row that splits these areas into equal thirds of the page width. So when displayed on a narrow device, like this mobile phone's browser, these areas will stack vertically and the user experience will be a good one. So in this case, there was no need for special mobile content. However, sometimes you might want to display different content on mobile devices, perhaps making it simpler with fewer graphics, which may be good in low bandwidth situations. Or you might want to show special content that's similar to the common content boxes that only appear on computer displays. Let's look at the mobile website setup module, show its capabilities, and you can determine if any of the features will enhance your website. We're already logged into one of our demo sites as an administrator. So we can go to the control panel, click on the website tab, then scroll down to the setup section and click on mobile setup. This screen has four panels for content that will be displayed only on mobile devices. There's a custom page header designed specifically for narrower screens. If you do not create a mobile page header, the standard header will be displayed instead. You can insert a content box for the top of the website. This appears as an accordion panel below the header, initially collapsed. A click or tap expands it to show its content. There is an area where you can define custom home page content for the mobile devices. If you do not create a home page for mobile devices, the standard one will be displayed instead. And you can insert a content box for the bottom of the website. Like the top one, it appears initially as an accordion panel, collapsed, but expandable with a click or tap. For this tutorial, we've already entered some very simple content into each of these areas. We'll go through each of the functions, and then we'll look at how the mobile-specific content displays on a mobile phone. First, click on the pencil icon in the header to display the header editor. The tools are the same as the header editor and the website look and feel module, and it has both simple and advanced editors. Please watch the video about the look and feel module for more detail about the options available for headers. Mobile screens generally have fewer pixels than desktop or notebook computers especially when the device is used in portrait mode, so this editor has a ruler showing common pixel widths. A mobile header will generally have very limited content, perhaps just the club or association's logo and name, but you can add any number of text boxes and images and control their properties. You can also add a background image or set a background color. Any background image that has already been set for the standard display is automatically retained. If you want a different background, Click the X next to the Set Background Image to remove the image from the mobile display. Then click on Set Background Image, select a different image, and adjust the tiling as appropriate. Then you can add text and images, change colors, add shadows, and adjust the heading height, all to create a header specific to mobile devices. When you're done, click Save. When you select the Home Page icon, a standard pop-up window displays the Advanced Content Editor. It allows you to add content appropriate for the home page, 
and you have a wide array of content creation tools available. Please see the video about the Advanced Content Editor for more details. But keep in mind that this content will display only on mobile devices. If there is no content defined in this section, then the standard homepage will display on all devices. When viewing your site on a mobile device, content areas created with a common content module don't appear. Instead, you can create top and bottom content boxes that are specific to the mobile display. Let's click on the top content to display the editor. You can enter a title that displays in the accordion panel, and the content appears below the header, initially collapsed, until the user clicks or taps to expand and show its content. Similarly, content entered into the bottom content area appears as an accordion panel just above the footer. Be sure to click the Activate icon to activate each of these content boxes. Or, for an active content box, click the Deactivate icon to turn off content for that box. Now let's see how this content displays on a mobile home page. We see the new header and main home page content, as well as the accordion controls that when clicked display the top content and bottom content. If you decide that you want only the standard display instead of the customized mobile only content, simply remove or deactivate the mobile customizations as appropriate. So now you've seen how to create content that displays only on mobile devices. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.